Hi, welcome to ingvid.com. I'm Adam. In today's video, I have a bit of a treat for you, okay? I'm gonna teach you some new words, okay? First, before I get into it, let me just show you these words. Vegetable, beef, dead, beat, crash, axe, can, dirt, trash, sick, and bust. Now, you're probably sitting there going, yeah, these are kind of basic everyday words, right? Like I said, everyday words. But I'm going to show you the slang uses of these words. I'm going to show you how these words mean something completely different than the meanings you're probably associating with them. So, for example, vegetable. I think everybody knows this word, vegetable. It's something you eat, right? Like fruits and vegetables. So you have like a lettuce, for example, is a vegetable or a cucumber. But did you know that vegetable can also mean, when we talk about something being in a vegetative state, when a person, for example, let's say someone got into a car accident and hit his or her head, and they're in the hospital and they're in a state of a coma, they're in a vegetative state, there's not much brain frequency, there's not much brain activity, so we say this person is vegetative, this person is like a vegetable, just lying there and not moving, right? So alive, but not moving. So we call this person in slang, we say he or she is a vegetable. So we, when we talk about somebody, when we say, <clears throat> you know, he's not that smart, he's like, he's a vegetable. He's alive, but that's it. He's a body with no brain. But, and another way to use it, to veg out, okay, as a verb, and we use veg, like it sounds like a J. To veg out means to relax and do nothing. What are you doing this weekend? Oh, I think I'm going to veg out at home. Okay, so as a non-native English speaker, you're thinking, veg, veg, I don't know this word. What does veg mean? Oh, you know, like vegetable. You're going to go home and eat vegetables all weekend? No, I'm going to lie on my couch like a vegetable, doing nothing, relaxing okay so to veg out from vegetable or if someone is a vegetable not doing anything or not uh, not too much brain power there beef and again you're thinking okay if, again food you eat beef you know cow cooked beef beef can also mean complaint or problem so you go to your boss and you say, you know, I, I have a beef with you. I have a beef with you. It means I have a problem with you. I have a complaint about you. And the boss says, well, take your beef to HR. It means I don't want to hear your beef. I don't want to hear your complaint. Complaint. Take your beef to HR. So very commonly used, what's your beef? I have a beef with you. Take your beef elsewhere. Take your complaint. Take your problem somewhere else. Okay? Dead. Dead means dead, not alive. But we use it not only for living things, we use it for places. Okay? It basically means empty or quiet. <clears throat> so you go to a club and you're at the club and your friend calls you, say, how, how is it there? Oh, it's dead. What, what does that mean? It means that there's not many people and there's not much activity and it's very quiet. It usually means boring, right? If you go to a restaurant, how was the restaurant? Oh, it was dead. We left. Okay, so anything that any place you go to, there's not much action, not much activity. You say it's dead, or not many people. You say it's dead, and you move on. Beat. Now, beat can mean like to beat somebody. Okay, but it can also mean very, very tired. Okay, so you come home and your friend or your roommate says, "How do you feel?" Oh, I'm beat. I'm beat, as an adjective, means I'm very, very tired, I want to go to sleep. So then your friend says, well, why don't you just crash? Crash means go to sleep. Or sleep over at someone's house. So my apartment, for example, my apartment, for some reason, has lots of cockroaches. Somebody left some garbage in the hallway and cockroaches came in and they came under my door. Now my apartment is full of cockroaches. So I called the company to come clean it up. 
but they're going to put like some poison fume to kill them all. So I call my friend and say, I can't stay in my apartment tonight. Can I crash at your house? So crash. But when you think about the everyday use of crash, like a car, <laughs> crash. That's why it's called a car crash. But crash means to sleep. I'm going to crash. Or can I crash? To sleep over at somebody's house. So beat, very tired. Crash, sleep. Okay? Axe. Now axe is a tool. It's like a long stick with a metal piece, very sharp on one side, and you use it to cut trees. Okay? Uh, again, I'm not a very good artist. Oh, that's not so bad, actually. That's an axe. You use it to cut down a tree. But it also means to fire someone. So to fire someone. So the boss is going to axe, or the company is going to axe a thousand jobs. Axe means to fire, to let somebody go. Okay? Somebody got axed. Got axed or got the axe. Means somebody or somebody lost his or her job. You actually hear this quite a bit in sports. The team is doing very badly and finally the, the coach got axed. Okay? Now, can. Can has so many uses. I can swim. I can do this. I can do that. I, I have a can of Coke that I'm going to drink. All kinds of different meanings for can. But do you know that can also means to fire someone? So somebody got canned. Now this is a very slang. When you say someone got canned, it means they lost their job. They got fired. To can somebody, to fire somebody. Again, same as axe, very completely different word, right? Dirt. Now again, you're thinking dirt on the ground, you have to sweep it, you have to wash it, or you have some dirt on, your st on yourself, you go take a shower, it's gone. Dirt can also mean information. But usually when you have dirt on someone, when you have dirt on someone, you have secret information. And it's information usually that can hurt this person. So if you're a politician, for example, and you, you have some good dirt on your opponent, you can embarrass him or her in the media and win your election. So if someone has dirt on you, you should be very worried. If you get dirt on someone else, you have a little bit of power over them. Okay? So you can uh, get dirt on someone. Trash. So again, you know trash, garbage, rubbish. You take it outside or you have a trash bin. But to trash can also mean to destroy or to damage. So my friends went to Las Vegas and they got a little bit, you know, too excited and too happy and too drunk. And they went back to their hotel room and they just trashed it. They trashed it means you can think of it like they turned it into garbage, if that helps you remember. But basically it means they destroyed it. They caused a lot of damage. So if someone trashed a place, they did a lot of damage. But you can also trash someone's reputation. You can talk, say very negative things about someone and hurt his or her reputation, and their reputation is now in the trash. So you basically destroyed or damaged their reputation. Sick. Sick is a little bit more of a modern slang. It's, it hasn't been around very long, but now it's just a part of common speech. It means amazing. <clears throat> Amazing or awesome or very good, right? Uh, how was the movie? Oh, I was sick. So if somebody says something was sick and they say it like that, oh, I was sick. It means, oh, it was so amazing. It was so good. Something very spectacular, like a band or a movie or something creative, something you see or do or a person you meet, etc. Bust. A bust can have two meanings. When you talk about sculpture, like when you have a little sculpture of a, of a person's head, Somebody famous, somebody made a sculpture of their head. That's called a bust of the head. Bust also means break. So if you have a vase of flowers and you dropped it, it busts, it breaks. But bust can also mean to catch. <clears throat> to catch someone doing something they shouldn't be doing. And the more common use is busted. Right? I was busted by my parents when I was when I tried to borrow the car and I told them I was sleeping at a friend's house. 
or somebody, some kids are smoking cigarettes in the washroom at, at school and the principal comes in and he catches them doing this action, they are busted. The principal busted them. Okay, so to catch somebody doing something uh, bad. Okay, so again, this is, the, this is the interesting thing about English. You can think, you think you know all these words, and then you hear them used in a completely unknown way to you. Again, it's up to you to basically expose yourself to everyday English as much as possible. These sorts of meanings, you're not going to see them in textbooks very much. You're going to see them in movies. You're going to see them on YouTube. You're going to see them uh, in TV shows. You're going to see them in books. Get Engage, engage, engage the language. The more you come into contact with this kind of language, the quicker your English will improve all around. Okay? But if you have any questions about any of these words, please go to ingvid.com. You can join the forum there and you can ask me a question and I'll be happy to answer. There's also a quiz to make sure that you know how to use these words in context. I'll give you good sentences. And uh, I hope you like this lesson. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you did and come back for more good lessons with real everyday English to help you guys improve. Okay? I'll see you again soon.